Hello everyone. Welcome to NPTEL course on Rural Water Resource Management. This is week 11, lecture two. In this week's lecture, we have been looking at data for rural water resource management. And while we discuss the initial part of the course, I have already mentioned that there is a lot of data issues. And that is why we have seen different agencies and different resources for data. What we found out in the last lecture is there are publications and NGOs where you can mine the data, which means you have to read them, understand the data that they have used, the methodologies, and you can take the data. There are two types of data mining. One is you take the data from which they took the data. And the second part is where you have their results coming into your work as data. For example, if they give you a rainfall uh, estimate and runoff, uh, online you could get runoff like discharge from the government data and also other data sources. However, you can also get the result from these papers as your data. Now let's go on further and look at the other sources of data. While in the introduction for data, I mentioned that there are both NGOs uh, and publications reports as, as knowledge products and there is physical data. These are the two types. In the physical data, you do have uh, state agencies and that is what we will be focusing on today. So state agencies have different departments that monitor water. Every state, the terminologies might be different, but it is your duty to find which is the state agency that monitors the data. Some of the examples are given below. You have the irrigation department, the forestry department, climate change, water department. Because for irrigation, water is the major uh, input because irrigation means application of water from other resources, not your rainfall um, irrigation. And then you have your forestry departments. And then you have uh, the forestry because it uh, has a lot of water structures and or um, land use land cover which can help in assessing the water budgets, the climate change department, the weather department and water department. The weather is IMD uh, where you get rainfall data and humidity data, temperature data to estimate your different parameters. Whereas your water department has more data on the actual water like discharge, uh, surface runoff, groundwater, those kind of things. So there are some examples for these databases. Some examples are PWD, which is the Public Works Department from the state of Tamil Nadu. Then you have the MAHAHP, which is the Maha Hydrological Project or Maharashtra Hydrologic Project. And then you have SWID, which is the State Water Investigation Directorate of West Bengal. The second one is for sure it is Maharashtra. So you could see that certain states will collect data based on their need. And the budgets are allocated similarly. So it is on the mandate of each of these states to collect water and manage water sustainably. So please understand that these are important aspects for groundwater management and other uh, water management in the rural setting. And the data comes from multiple platforms. 
The state agencies have their own rules and regulations for monitoring, which is need not be the same for the central government. However, you do have other resources and activities that can be part of it. Each of these agencies has a considerable amount of budget, manpower, and officials. In fact, some of these agencies are guided by IAS officers, where they have a lot of experience on the field in working with these systems. And sometimes it is led by the state collectorate or state officers who are like IAS cadres. So moving on, uh, we will have an example of a state agency and see how data is collected. So the one state agency I would um, go in and check is the tndata.gov.in. Um, and you could see that uh, the central database is the same. So you will not have uh, you know, different databases uh, in different websites. That was initially done, but nowadays all these databases are stored in one repository. So it is your duty to go and search for these data in Google and find it. Why I'm asking you to search through a search engine is because there is a possibility that sometimes the links change for which you need to keep updating yourself. For example, the WRIS website I said, initially it was a different website and now it has changed. So it is up to the user to always keep updated on the data portals. I will go through this uh, website uh, and then uh, showcase some of the data so that you could find uh, the data sets, et cetera. There are also multiple agencies and websites such as the India Water Portal, which also stores these kind of data. And sometimes you have to pay for it. Even state agencies, they would require some uh, funds. For example, the PWD I mentioned um, in, in uh, Tamil Nadu, if you are using it for research and academics, you could go through the head of the institution or your professor, write a letter and you could get to these agencies, state agencies, and try to see if they give the data for free. Otherwise, it is not as expensive as the other data, so you can still uh, buy it. But however, I, I request you to please try to find if it is low cost. If it is high cost, please go through your academic institutions. If you do not have an academic institution, then you can go talk to them why you want to use the data. For example, the village development plans, master plans, if you want to work on your own village uh, for water access, et cetera, uh, then the price would be definitely different. These agencies are normally kept in the capital of the state. Okay, for example, the PWD offices are in Chennai, the Mahab HP projects are in Mumbai, and the SWID is in Kolkata. So please uh, try to see if you have access to these uh, locations. If not, uh, please try to see if you could uh, you know, meet them. Normally emails won't work. You'll have to go physically and talk to them. So go physically, talk to them on why you need this data, write a good letter, why you need this data, what are you going to use it for, and specifically what data from what range, for example, if you have a uh, boundary, watershed boundary, you can ask this is the boundary. If it is a village name, you can put it as a village name. So that is the village extent you want. And clearly mention that these are the data I would need for these many days. For example, you say groundwater uh, data, I would need it from 2000 to 2022. Only some agencies have put it on the WRIS website, which is the Indian government website. Most of the other agencies have not added these data online. So please don't um, 
say that, oh, the data is not available. Uh, it could be there, but you need to go and visit these agencies and find it. Not all are online because of sensitivity issues cost uh, in hosting them online. They don't keep the data, but they do share the data. Let's take an example. Tamil Nadu government data, I'm going to go now. So what you see here is, <clears throat> so the, just a normal Google account I've opened, uh, just a Google web page. Uh, I'm going to say Tamil Nadu water data. Okay, so what you see is TN Invis, Invis Center, which is a um, data portal for the Tamil Nadu government. Sometimes you get these warnings, you can just click on it. And the other catalog I mentioned is the tn.gov.in. So once you click the uh, tn.gov.in, this web page will come, okay? Okay, it is a little bit slow. Sometimes it just uh, needs some time, but then yeah. See here, the Tamil Nadu NVIS, which is your environmental uh, kind of um, uh, department hosted by Tamil Nadu State Council for Science, Technology and Environment, uh, supported by the Ministry of uh, Environment, Forest and Climate Change, Government of India. So you can clearly see that there is a state agency, which is the Tamil Nadu State Council, and then it is supported by the central government. So that is where the India logo, and the Tamil Nadu logo, okay? Environmental Information System, which is N this, and you could see here, come down and see what are the different data that is available. Details of water resources, let's say I would like to see Coimbatore, okay? And then the river basins and other data, the maps, all these things you can find, okay? Yeah, so sometimes these uh, websites are not, um, you know, possible to uh, open because sometimes uh, they are not working. So if you have these kind of issues, don't worry about it. You can also go to the tamnata.gov.in. Okay, I'm just going to keep it up uh, so that the other websites can open. And then here you can go catalogs, the tamnata.data.gov.in, which you saw here. Okay, so tamnata.gov.in. This is the second uh, resource, what resources, tamnata.gov.in. Okay. So you have these uh, uh, resources and this Tamil Nadu government came Then details of dams of Tamil Nadu can be there. So all you have to do is click open data implementation. I'll show it again. In the, in the website, you can just open data. See, this is not the same for all state websites. So please understand that I cannot show all the uh, different states in India and their watershed, uh, their water data. Uh, it is because that would be a lecture by its own, right? So every week I have to take one uh, state. So you would just go here and find where it says data. There sometimes will be a search box. Let me move my screen to see there's no search box, but you can click the open data, okay? So which I've clicked uh, and then catalogs, okay. So I click catalog and this has opened. There's a guideline and then there is a catalog. So in the catalog, I'm going to just type water. When I type water, there are multiple uh, subdivisions for it. So it is coming on the Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change. As I said, that the ministry is from the central government. Uh, you can do it by source. You can do it by state government, Tamil Nadu. You have the municipal administration of water. Chennai water, uh, and then uh, municipal department of economics and statistics. You can filter by sector, which is census, population, drinking water, sanitation, uh, environmental factors, water quality, water resources, groundwater, et cetera. Let's click the water resources. And you have water bodies in uh, municipal and corporation areas in Tamil Nadu, which is very important. The WRIS may not have all the water bodies mapped. 
uh, you can do the groundwater water bodies uh, we've done so i'm just clicking the groundwater to see if uh, it's the same thing so you can take this out and you can see region wise details of tanks in tamil nadu see these tanks we have already seen in the class how important uh, they are uh, and if you would like to see how these uh, tanks behave and model it in your system do a water budget it's very important to understand these uh, things so you could click it uh, and it will ask you what type of data you would like there are four to four data sets uh, and you can download them for free similar to the wris website you'll be asked with some questions on um, you know like uh, why you want to use it how you want to use it those kind of things so for example details of tanks in trichy region madurai madurai coimbatore etc so there's only four data sets not all is there as i said there could be two issues one is they did not put everything online and the second is that uh, maybe it is sensitive so they keep it in the office and as i said this is the office address and stuff where you can go and and find them try giving them a call uh, email sometimes may not work so you can try giving them a call or if you have any friends in the state's office near the office you can ask them to go and meet the chief engineer and uh, chief engineers normally will tell the rules and regulations which is uh, why you want to use the data you have to clearly mention a lot of signatures are required uh, and then you would talk about where and how the data is going to be used uh, and then the details about the data normally you'll have to pay by uh, demand draft and then they'll send it by post or email the data post means like a a hard disk uh, like a physical cd rom they will put it or they will ask you to come and take it in a pen drive uh, or email uh, from a google uh, cloud or any other cloud they will share so these are the different types of uh, data you would uh, formats you could export it in uh, and xls is your excel uh, so let's click excel uh, and it will say the same thing do you want to use it for commercial non commercial see commercial means you're going to use it to sell it to others it is kind of unethical and wrong to take raw data for free and then sell it to others at a price for example you have your village panchayat office and they want to estimate the rainfall so that they can plan agricultural crops if the panchayat office requires you to collect the data if you go to this website and say uh, commercial which means you're going to collect the data on this website and then you're going to sell it to the panjai then uh, there is an issue okay it is unethical and also an issue because you are making uh, money out of it uh, so always try to see uh, if you add value to the data then you can sell it for example you run a model you put a lot of time uh, you clean it visualize it then it's different story but the raw data you cannot take and then sell it um, and you will be caught uh, if if that happens a lot so let's say non uh, commercial and academic same thing you can give your name i'm going to give tc tc com and then submit there is the ratings also like uh, what it is and how it is so once another website uh, just opens to down make you download the data i'm not going to download it i'm just going to show how to do it so there it is a data file okay let's just have a look at it because we are here uh, it has downloaded uh, so what are the, what did we do we do trichy uh, and then i'm going to click it to open it once it opens i'll share it again uh, okay so uh, what is happening is the uh, excel is um, sharing uh, and then let me see if i could uh, open it yeah so the data is already on and i would um, uh, you know uh, take this data and use it as needed okay <coughs> okay so the tn envis also has other data on the maps the boundaries and then maps of india is a commercial software which uh, a company which they have cited here okay 
So that is one way to do it. And then now you could also, I, all I did is Tamil Nadu water data. I clicked on Envis, not much data is there. Not always the first link, you'll get all the data. So go here, uh, I went to the second uh, classification, tn.data.gov.in, and then I found this page. Uh, if you want to go back, you can go back to the uh, data catalog. You can also write to the chief data officer uh, asking about <coughs> clarifications, basically the same email. It can, it can go to that email, okay? So I'm going to go to catalogs again when this website opens. I'm just going to say groundwater. And then water quality in India, et cetera. They also have some uh, statistics. How many people have accessed it? Six people uh, have visually looked at it, downloads, uh, views, how many people have viewed the data. Uh, some visual analysis has been done. So all these are there. Um, across India, but because this is for Tamil Nadu, they might have it truncated. Again, we are only looking at the state in this lecture, the central uh, government exercises we have um, see or we'll all already add to it in the next uh, couple of lectures, okay? So with this, uh, one more I will show is the data.government.in. If you look at both this website, data.gov.in, um, uh, which is Tamil Nadu, uh, India's data.gov.in and the TN data.gov.in. Uh, the only difference is the TN word, which means Tamil Nadu is, is there coming in front, right? Because both are uh, government agencies, uh, one is a state agency supported by a central government, and this is a central government. That is why you see the central government logo here, whereas you see the state government logo here. This is almost the same aspect across the data platforms and you'd be uh, able to see all of this uh, in this here. So you can see all these data and similar to your uh, thing, you have a number of data officers, visualizations, themes. Uh, you could uh, search the catalog here, just click the catalog. Let's say again, Tamil Nadu water uh, and you can get, get it. This is to focus on one region, as I said, okay? Uh, and then here it is, um, some, some data, surface water, quality in Tamil Nadu, how many did we get? Um, normally the search would tell you how many, uh, and then let's say, yeah, it just goes on. It's not three, it just goes on a lot and more similar results. So daily stock, Tamil Nadu, household, household uh, survey, uh, source of drinking water locations, Tamil Nadu 2001, water bodies in Tamil Nadu. So you'll have these both the data in access in two different sites. One is the Tamil Nadu site and then the um, uh, data.gov.in. Uh, please don't get confused. It is the same data, government data, but hosted in two different locations. Both are free. So now this is the point. When you take these data for free and put it on your website and charge the money, then it becomes unethical. You will be sued by the government. So be very careful what you can share uh, for cost, do not sell uh, something from the government for free, okay? So just be, read through the rules and regulations. It will clearly tell what you can sell, what you cannot sell. Okay, so this is where you could do it. Uh, you can also go back to the catalog. And then uh, you can click groundwater, let's say, or tank. See, the tank word can be different uh, in different uh, regions, but let's say you have one to 14 in the data. District-wise, um, uh, distribution of surface lift streams, or lift irrigation schemes, tank ponds and use, et cetera. So you have multiple data. And most importantly, uh, it tells you about uh, how many data set, uh, views, downloads, and see if the download is high, that means people are using it. Okay, uh, and then you have the updated date when it was updated. You know, mostly want to see um, uh, the very recent one. So you can click here, you can go to relevance or most recent date, and then uh, click search again. Then what would happen is it just reorganizes itself. So now you have village water wise surface flow schemes. Uh, it was updated in 2018. Still, we are in 2022. Uh, that's like a four years um, average difference. Okay, so be, uh, as I said, sometimes the data may not be 
the uh, you know most recent uh, one, but uh, you need to work on what data you have. So reassign, realign your problem statement with the data you have. There's no point in saying no data. You need to tell what data you're going to use and how much. So we have seen this, how to search for data in a one particular state website. Uh, and then we have also seen how to <coughs> download these data uh, in an Excel format. You can also go to data.government.in uh, and then search for data and download. Uh, the details of the uh, data officer, which is Hemalata, uh, Tirumadi, TMT is Tirumadi, L Hemalata, Joint Director of Statistics, and their address and phone number is given. This looks like a mobile phone, uh, but as I said, please do first send an email. Sometimes they do, uh, because the volume of uh, emails are a lot, but most of the time they do reply. So you could get a reply, you can talk to them and see what can be done. With this, I conclude today's lecture on the state data sets and how to analyze them. We've also looked at um, how ethical it is to use the data for your research and uh, um, sell it. You can sell a product, but you cannot sell the data product from the government. Uh, you should do your work, analyze it, make it a, as a problem statement, et cetera, uh, model it, and then you can uh, try to augment it. This course is about um, solving rural water issues, uh, but it is also important to uh, build the capacity of people who can use these materials to like consultancies, right? Because not always the government agencies uh, can uh, solve these small, small issues. NGOs, for example, they could charge uh, for these kind of work. So uh, thanks a lot. I will see you in the next class on more data sources for rural water management. Thank you.